I know that this is like a massive double battle, I think. And we do actually have what team that she's going to have, the scientist. Of course, I haven't looked at it yet because you know the rules by now. So we're gonna see how this goes, honestly. I think this is supposed to be, I wanna say that the creator said something about this battle where it's just like, hey, this is kind of difficult. And I think kind of going with our sacrificial lamb and watchhawk up first is probably gonna be the move. I am gonna go ahead and teach watchhawk thunderbolt and that's gonna go over bullet seed, I think. Oh my God, watchhawk can learn dazzling gleam. Hell to the yes, dude. I did not know that. That's so freaking clutch. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of something for Dazzling Gleam. Um, I think getting rid of Hyper Fang is gonna be the move. It is really nice to be able to have that extra flinch chance and have a stab move, but this gives us such, such great type coverage. I haven't, I haven't EV trained Watchhog, and I really, really need to do that, but it, God, the, the fact that it learns Dazzling Gleam is so helpful. Rather than Watchhog, I'm gonna lead with Diggersby. Are you ready to fight us alongside? Yes, just in case we need something that's special attacking in the back. Let's get him. All right, this is gonna be a difficult battle. I kind of feel, I kind of feel like it. The one with green hair leads with a Lipard and the one with the purple hair leads with Aegislash or the Dual Blade. Lipard has a Focus Sash, so we can go ahead and double kick and get rid of that. Oh, uh, I really wish you didn't. Actually, that could help. Really, it still outspeeds. It doesn't attack us, which is super clutch. The critical hit on Meowstic is not great. Okay. Shadow Claw against Meowstic. So one of Callum's Pokemons is already gone. That's not great, but that's okay. Clefable is going to be able to do... I think what the move is, is to bulldoze... I'm gonna bulldoze everybody. No prisoners, dude. No prisoners. Ooh, I... Was kind of hoping that that was gonna do more damage against the dual blade, but I guess not. That's okay. That is a-okay. -okay. And Lionoon is up to level 49. Man, that dual blade is real bulky. Ooh, and a critical hit, but it does have a leftovers or citrus berry? Leftovers, okay. The Basharp, okay, that needs to be gone yesterday. It has an air balloon, but we have a double kick. Please outspeed. Oh, okay, we have a withdraw, and they're gonna go into Hydreigon. They already have a Hydreigon. Well, I'm glad that we just taught a fairy move and that we have a Bishop that's gone as well. And we do, we can attack this. Well, that was a really weird move. Cause I'm sure Clefable knows Dazzling Gleam. That seems like a pretty standard move for Clefable to run. And then also like, we know, they know that Diggersby has, oh good Lord, a Haxorus as well. I'm still gonna focus on that Hydreigon. That Hydreigon with a special attack is way more concerning to me. Poison Jab, that's going to take out Clefable. Oh, it has Life Orb, okay. Okay, it does oh, appreciable damage. Flash Cannon. Come on, survive one Digger Speed. Oh, take that like a champ. Okay, Vaporeon may have Ice Beam, which is super clutch for us. We'll do another double kick against Hydreigon, and that should be enough to take it out as long as Digger Bee survives a Dragon Claw. And he, ooh, he doesn't. That is a rough go of it. That life orb probably made the difference. Okay. The blizzard is so clutch though. That gets rid of Haxorus, which is honestly the most important thing in this entire, because Haxorus could probably be able to one-shot our entire team. So with that in mind, I am gonna go to Watchhog to maybe, well, we know that it has blizzard and that it does out so what she has left she has a chandelure a luxray and a mega pincer so with that in mind the only one that's really super effective against all of them or has effectiveness against all of them is radicate so i think i'm going to go into radicate i was i would go into bibarel okay that's a fine move for me that's a fine move 
and then we're going to go ahead and hyper fang the shan no 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 oh, i i didn't think that was such a dumb move on my part okay energy ball that's going to be the energy ball on the vaporeon so at least and it survives which is awesome blizzard and they both avoided it that is so bad i meant to do crunch so let's go and do crunch i was really hoping on for that vaporeon to take out hydreigon right there but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen right now but, but Raticate also grows to level 51. We're still in a really good position with this battle, I think. Okay, and that's Vaporeon out of the picture. Luxray. Okay, this is, was the one that I was kind of worried about. And the Dragonair. Intimidate is real not good. Do I switch out, though? I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to go straight for the Hyper Fang against Luxray and really hope for the best. Hopefully it's a two-shot. It's not. But that's going to attack the Dragonair. Okay, and at least... This is the end of the Hydreigon, right? Thank goodness. That thing was out way too long. And it goes back to the Duo Blade. What's going to be more important? I think we go ahead and crunch this Duo Blade. We'll be able to do more damage there. Not a whole lot, honestly. Okay, Thunder Wave is fine, because that's just wasting moves at this point. Fire Blast is going to take out the Duo Blade, or the... That's weird. Not sure if I entirely agree with attacking Luxray when there's a super effective option, but regardless. Absol is actually pretty, pretty nice in this case. I am going to go ahead and just in case that the Absol outspeeds us, and tries to go for the Duo Blade knocking out. I'm going to go for Fire Fang against the Duo Blade. And then we should be able to survive this. Yeah, we can survive that. Cool. Okay, this is going to KO the Duo Blade, but then at least that way the move that Raticate uses isn't going to be half effective against the Luxray. As long as we do get to attack and we don't, unfortunately. Toxic Croak is bad. There's not really a good switch for us at the moment. Maybe just to Hyper Fang the Toxicroak and hope for the best. That's honestly okay with me. It's just chipping away at its own health at this point. And the only other thing that it has would be the Mega Pinsir. But that thing does have close combat. And Callum is down to his last Pokemon, if I remember correctly. We do have some room, though. I think I'm going to go into Linoon and just Kamikaze. I'm not going to Kamikaze, actually. I think that's a really dumb move now that I think about it. Because if I double edge Luxray, that's obviously going to take it out. But then that's going to bring out the Pinsir and then basically leave Toxicroak open because it's going to do a fighting move against Linoon. That just makes sense. So I think it's just is important to get as much damage off on Toxicroak as possible right now. That's going to be the move I go for. Oh my god, we got a crit. I don't think that would have taken out without a crit. That's so clutch. Linoon, you always come through no matter how many times I send you into situations where it's just so sure you're gonna die. And Thunder Wave is good is fine for us because that actually activates our quick feed ability. It does mean we might get paralyzed, but it's not the end of the world. It's not as bad as you might think it is. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So we got the Mega Pinsir paired with the Magmortar. Magmortar is not a concern of ours, I think. Or is it? No, I think we focus our efforts on the Pinsir because the Pinsir is going to be the last of Brioni's Pokemon. So I think it's way more important to do that. Yeah, so we're going to double edge Pinsir. And it's going to react to the Mega Ring. It is not very happy with everything that's on screen right now. It does just under half damage. Close combat. That's going to take it out. And that's going to... But that is also going to lower its defense, which is super clutch for us, I think. Come on, Chestnut. Survive one. Survive one. Awesome. Poison jab. Does this take out? No, it doesn't, but it's poisoned. Oh, this frame rate is killing me right now. But now we go into Bibarel. 
And we're gonna go ahead and just aqua jet that pincer. We're gonna get it right out of the way. And then we'll be in a great position for uh, the mag mortar. I don't know why the frames are, maybe it's just everything that's happening on the battle at once. That has to be what it is. I can't wait to see what triple battles are gonna be like in that case. All right, so that's Brioni out of the battle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But now it is a 1v1. That's not gonna do hardly any damage. And I'm gonna assume that that's pretty much all it has. We're gonna Swords Dance. Yeah, because you have Thunderbolt. Because you have Thunderbolt. Oh, this is an interesting situation we find ourselves in. You don't have anything that's particularly useful in this case. I think Furret might be the move. Oh, this is, this is gonna be really close. Coil, we're gonna Coil once. Will-O-Wisp is so not good. That's bad. Oh, gosh. How much does Heat Wave do? Well, we're at 144. It does way over half. Oh, dear God above. Uh, we are going... We can't use items. Uh, Baton Pass into Watchog. Honestly, Callum did, like, nothing this battle. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to say that that's the reason that it looks really bad for us right now, but it sure as hell didn't help. And then I'm gonna go into Crunch. Hopefully the plus two does enough. I don't think it will. Nope. All right. Wow. Well, we lost for the first time in a while. Looky there. And I don't think we lost because of. Like, yes, I made the misplay with Raticate against the Chandelure. And that definitely hurt. Oh, and it, good lord. She has still two more Pokemon. So I'm fine with losing this, actually. I think that I'm going to go ahead and use it as an experience to go ahead and get more um, experience. Literally. And get our Pokemon back to full health. I'm going to take it on the chin right there. And we're going to go back and battle them again. And I'm going to think of a different strategy, I think. So the only thing that I really did there was teach Sucker Punch to fur it. But what I think is going to be the move is actually leading with Watchog like I originally said that I was going to. And then setting up a nasty plot. Because we know from what just happened that they're going to attack that Meow Stick first. So, as a result, we can set up a nasty plot and then maybe do just enough damage to it, to everything that's around, to hopefully, basically, stay alive until the dragons come out, and then maybe try to take out a couple dragons with Dazzling and Gleam. And then that way we also save Diggers B for later, which is, you know, one of our hardest hitters. And, uh, God, let's just... And is the only one with a ground-type move, which would have been very useful in that battle. So we're just going to go ahead and try that again with that strategy. Yeah, so I think totally what I was saying earlier about the fairy types in this game is 100% true, just because, I mean, this is an intense battle. Like, do not get me wrong. And we're, we're fine leveled, honestly, I think. But I just don't think the fairy types are that good in this game if you don't have that type advantage. So we got Lypert and Dual Blade leading off again. We both know, or we should figure that they're both going to attack Meowstic because they're both super effective, but then we're going to go with the nasty plot. That is fine for us. Special attack rose sharply. Awesome possum. This is all good for us. And we are going to focus our efforts over on this side of the battlefield. Of course, why do you always... Paralyze the one that I'm attacking. Assurance takes out the Meowstic, but at least we have... Ooh, I should have done a na another a nasty plot. They did pretty good damage. It goes with Dragonair now. I'm going to try Dazzling Gleam on Lypert. Oh, th that attacks both? Ooh, Swagger's not good. Swagger doesn't help us at all. It actually hurts us quite a bit. Damn it. Okay, that's good though. So the dual blade is gone, which means that there's probably going to be a dra- Oh, not a dragon coming out. We got a Toxicroak. We're going to try for another Dazzling Gleam. Assurance is going to hurt, but it's also going to power up our Dazzling Gleam. 
Watchhog did nothing. <laughs> Watchhog did absolutely nothing. Oh, the critical hit is super clutch for us, though. So we're going to go into Diggersby, and we're going to use a quick attack to get rid of that Toxic Quote. Toxic Croak. Ooh, wow, my... This is... This is going. And then that means that the Dragonair is going to be attacking the Lypert and breaking the Focus Sash. Good God above. But this is okay. So Bulldoze is going to be doing more da No, it's not going to be doing more damage because it's an area of effect type move. I'm still going to do it to break the Lypert's Focus Sash. Awesome. The fact that the Diggersby uh, Drapion has, what's it called, is not good. But that also means that it's going to lower the speed. This this is good for us. And the Drapion's out anyways. Nope, it's not. But we're going to go ahead and Dragonair's going to be slower than anything. I'm just going to bulldoze again. I don't really care. <laughs> Straight up, Diggersby is not taking any prisoners right now. But that means that it's probably going to come out with two dragons now, which is really not fun. Chandelure, that's, those are both very interesting moves. Because Chandelure, I'm pretty sure, has Flame Body. Magmortar does float in the air, though. You know what? I'm just going to double check my effectiveness real quick. Because if, if Strength is super effective against Magmortar, I'm going to Strength it into the next freaking dimension, dude. You know what I'm actually going to do? No, no. Absol's 100% going to go for the Chandelure because it has probably Night Slash, which is super effective. I'm going to go for the Magmortar with Strength. And it also doesn't slow down Absol then, which is super huge for us because it's probably Calum's most useful Pokemon. Lining up to level 50. Energy Ball. Well, I didn't completely expect that. I also didn't expect Absol to not outspeed the Chandelure. Let's, okay, let's look at this team. Because right now, they have Haxorus, Luxray, and Pinsir and the Wings. And on the other side, they have Hydreigon and Manectric. So what I think I do is it sucks that we don't have anything super effective against them. But I think I'm going to go into Linoon, kind of bank that they're going to be going for the Haxorus and going to just try to take it out. The Hydreigon, I can still do great damage. Or the Bisharp. Ooh, I forgot about the Bisharp. Poop darn. Oh, poop darn. Double edge against the Hydreigon. Let's get this out of here. Dragon Pulse against Linoon's gone. Oh my god! Come on, Exorcist! Okay, that went super well, actually. We actually coordinated ourselves there. But Linoon's gonna be out from Bisharp. No, it's going for Absol? And she has a Mega Manetric, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go straight for another double edge against Manetric right here. Try to get as much damage off as possible. Hopefully we outspeed. Manetric is a very fast Pokemon, though. And it has Intimidate. Thankfully, that's only going to... And we do outspeed. This is still going to do a lot of damage. Maybe not. That's okay, though. That is okay. And Thunderbolt means that they're out of the picture. So what I think I do now is I go into Raticate and I get rid of that Bisharp. Why would you go into Vaporeon? That's such a dumb move. That is such a dumb move. I'm going to Hyper Fang the Manetric. Light screen is special, please. Sweet. And it hits. And it takes it out. Okay. Now, Callum still has at least one Pokemon, so it's going to be a two-on-one for a little bit right here. Iron Head's going to hurt, but I think Raticate can tank one. And it can. And it pops the air balloon, which is fine. So we're not worried about Solosha anymore. We are just worried about the Bisharp, Hacks. Wow, we were really focusing hard on Solosha's team. Let's go Fire Fang. Helping Hand, why thank you. Clap for ya boy. That's the Bisharp gone. Okay, what I'm gonna need you to do, Vaporeon, is keep doing that. 
I'm going to go for Crunch. We don't get the benefit of Stab, but at the same time, it's 100%. And I'm like, I'm playing it safe now with the Helping Hand. And I think Haxorus is pretty fra frail. Hopefully that's going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. I call that a pretty decent amount of damage, especially with the well-timed crit from Raticate. That Intimidate is not great, but if we can get this Luxray out of the way, I mean, no matter what, we're in a great position because uh, Callum still has Chestnut. We will do a Fire Fang, actually. Oh, that could be super clutch. We hit the Fire Fang. We do a critical hit, which is nice. And it did go for the Vaporeon, which is also very nice. The Helping Hand is good. Clap for you, boy. It doesn't take it out, though. Super Fang. I mean, Vaporeon's bulky. That shouldn't KO. And let's just go for the guaranteed hit with Crunch. I should have taken that more into account, but Life Orb means that it's out of the way, so that means they're down to their last Pokemon, which is the Mega Pinsir. And just at the best time, who we're about to send in, just leveled up, go get him, my simple beaver. And we know Vaporeon has Blizzard, which is gonna be super effective against this Pinsir. I'm just gonna go straight for a headbutt and try to get off as much damage as possible. I don't think a sword stance is particularly useful in this situation. Vaporeon did not attack it though. You actually suck Vaporeon. And we're down to our last Pokemon. Why did you not attack Vaporeon? Try Sucker Punch? And why aren't you using Blizzard? Okay, at least it does damage to itself in that case, but like, good lord, why aren't you attacking? Like, I think we're still gonna win, but that was two such bad plays when you have a super attacking, super effective move against this pincer. All right, thank God we still won though. I would have been so salty, man. That was really close though. No way. Wow, we are lame. No, y'all. Y'all gave me a run for my damn money. It took me an hour to beat y'all. Probability is just probability after all. Absolutes do not exist. Yeah, I'll fist pump to that. Good. Man above. Oh my, oh my. So lame. What a shame. We got beat. Enough already. We've already stolen Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. Let's call it good and leave. You saved us. Thank you so much. You're astounding Pokemon trainers for being so young. Very well then, I want to show my appreciation. Oh, why did I make you creepy? I want to show my appreciation. I'll give you the Master Ball or a big old nug. We already have our team. We aren't, we aren't worried about catching another thing. We, we good with our rodents. We want that moolah. And I know we were still gonna get it anyways, but you know what? I, I gotta go along with the, <laughs> there's a story we're creating here. He's just like, oh, thank you. I'm just like, I'm so glad I committed to that voice earlier because Callum in this game do seem like kind of a, it was a little standoffish. What were they planning to accomplish by taking all those Pokeballs for themselves? They were trying to enslave the world. So that's probably actually just an entire episode battling those two. I needed that. I needed a little bit of a reality check with this game. Like I was talking about earlier, like I was enjoying this game, but like, especially after the fairy gym, I'm just like, I was a little bit worried where I'm just like, man, did this, is this game a little bit too, like even with the rebalanced version, is Pokemon X really that easy? Oh, I was so, so wrong. Especially in a forced double battle situation like that. Oh, that, I needed that to really reinvigorate my my love of this run. That was so good. I, that is why, that is the th stuff I play Pokemon for. For that type of really challenging battle where it really comes down to like your last Pokemon and Straight up, if we did not like narrowly focus on Celosia in that, we would have lost because the only reason we won is because it was 2v1. 
That's crazy. That is crazy. Hey, do you think it's okay to go have a look around now? Probably. I'm afraid not. Uh, Callum with the bearer of bad news. It's not the time for that now. They still have to clean up after Team Flare. Team Flare? I've heard that name somewhere. Would they be the people in the red suits from a minute ago? Right. Team Flyer. <laughs> they took all the Pokeballs by force. They're for everybody to use. How awful. It seems like it would best not to get involved with those guys. Well, you're right, Trails. Team Flare sure is terror. Terrible. It's just terrible. And we go to Dendamil next. Which is so clutch for us. Broden Queen, you and Callum are really awesome. You're way stronger than those bad guys. Still not trying to do anything crazy, okay? See ya! <laughs> uh, it's fun. I have fun. But if I keep relying on you like this, I won't grow during my journey. Yeah, you're really lying, relying on me, because literally, last Pokemon, you have a super effective move. I am still salty about this. But thankfully, we finally get to Dendamil Town, which is so clutch for us, because that gives us the move reminder. And so, so much. That's just so, like, it helps us a lot in our journey. It also gives us Flail. Flail? Not Flail. Facade. So I was just trying to see if there was anything fun in here, but just, like, look at the way that I just love little things like this where you can turn your head and like the way that you talk you kind of lift your head up to like meet eyes with them it's just ah, little details about a game i really like okay so we do have another route upcoming with some very jovial music as well that pokeball factory definitely took a lot longer than i thought it would but oh man i can't like i i i know y'all can't see me right now but i am beaming that was that's that's why you play pokemon for those fun battles like that Anyways, that's going to be it for me for right now. So we're going to make our way over to Dendamil Town, battle all the trainers along this, and I'm pretty sure we get up to some more Team Flare shenanigans pretty darn soon. So I want to thank y'all for spending your free time with me. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you cuties next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>